Congratulations, you're embarking on a new research project. Now the excitement is real, but so is the work ahead. Whether you're designing data collection instruments or crafting a data management and sharing plan, there's one essential tool you'll want in your toolkit, the NIH Common Data Element Repository. It's your go-to resource for common data elements that can save you time, ensure data collection consistency, and meet NIH data sharing requirements. This video will show you the basics of searching and browsing the repository to find the common data elements that you need. The repository is a free database with thousands of common data elements, or CDEs, and forms from over 15 different organizations, mostly NIH institutes and centers. More are being added every day. You can search the repository with keywords. The default search is in all CDEs, but you can click on the tabs above the search box to search within NIH-endorsed CDEs or forms. An NIH-endorsed CDE has been reviewed and approved by an expert panel and meets criteria established by the NIH Scientific Data Council. I'll search all CDEs with the keywords employment status. Let me orient you to the results page. All CDEs have a steward, which is the organization or project responsible for the CDE in the repository. Let's look closely at the one from SHARE titled Employment Status. I know this CDE is NIH endorsed because it has this gold ribbon icon beside it. If you find an NIH endorsed CDE that works for your research, you've struck gold in a way because the endorsement process ensures it's reliable, valid, and clearly defined. I'll click on the title to view the complete record. Here's the CDE. Below its title is the question, we would like to know what you do. Are you working now, looking for work, retired, keeping house, a student, or what? I'll scroll down to the permissible values table to see the answers that respondents can choose from, like part-time work or hourly less than full-time. At the top of the CDE record, I see a notice that it's part of a bundle, and all CDEs within a bundle must be used together. I can click on the bundle link to view it. This is the bundle that the CDE is part of. It's a form with two questions. CDEs in a bundle should be used together, otherwise they aren't considered valid or reliable. Below the form is its copyright status. We see that this form is freely available without restriction, so you can use it without securing additional permissions. All forms will have a copyright status. Let's go back to the results page. There are a variety of filters you can use to refine your search. Click on the box beside NIH endorsed to limit to CDEs with that distinction, or select a collection to narrow results to CDEs from that organization or project. You can browse all available CDEs or forms from a specific organization or project from the CDEs and Forms buttons at the top of the repository screen. Now I see a list of the organizations or projects with available forms. You can also filter by copyright status. I'll click on Public Domain Free to Use to limit to forms with that copyright status. Now you can see only forms with that copyright status and can further refine your search by filtering to a specific collection. For in-depth instructions about using the repository, hover over the Help menu at the top of the repository screen and click on Guides, or go to the Resources page for additional trainings, or click on the Contact Us link to write to the NLM Help Desk. Thanks for watching.